I've been involved with ICANN now for rather a long time actually, it must be I think more than a, a decade, um, uh, kind of speaking up on ICANN's behalf, trying to draw attention to the issue that ICANN deals with, the speech and learning difficulties, particularly particularly with children. Um, oh, yeah, for over a decade now, I've been an ambassador for, for, for ICANN. I think the whole point is just trying to get what is a absolutely huge problem, uh, statistically, uh, and a huge problem individually and personally for those involved, uh, onto the agenda somehow, getting it talked again, getting, getting, you know, trying to help ICANN get things done. I, I first got involved uh, with ICANN when some close friends of ours uh, uh, had a, uh, a child, a uh, baby really, who turned out to have uh, very profound speech and learning difficulties. Uh, and uh, you know, we were close to them, we saw uh, the problems that that created not only for the little boy, uh, he's now a very big boy, <laughs> he's in his 20s or even 30 by now, um, uh, not only for him but for his family. Uh, and the continuing and multiplying difficulties uh, of, of, of a child you know, with those particular problems uh, growing up. Uh, and then, not only did I have that sort of personal connection, but then it occurred to me that I make my living, uh, uh, you know, with speech and language. I'm a broadcast journalist, you know, that, the, the, my, my voice, the ability to write, the ability to use words, uh, are the tools of my trade, that's, you know, you know how, how I live. And so, consequently, if I couldn't appreciate exactly what these difficulties meant for people, uh, then, then who could? Speech and language um, is just so utterly basic uh, for children, and the difficulties multiply uh, as they get older. I mean, if you actually start going to school with still having unresolved speech and language difficulties, then that has an impact on all the rest of, uh, of your education. It has, it has an impact on the way you uh, relate to other people. And it has an impact not just on the, on the, on the child themselves, but, but on the rest of the family, you know? I mean, the, the, the parents, the siblings, uh, and everybody else. Uh, the statistics are quite uh, extraordinary. There are, I, I think, something like 10% of all children uh, you know, have really quite serious speech and language difficulties. And if you look at the other end of the, the outcomes uh, and you uh, analyse um, the, the young people who, who end up on the wrong side of the tracks, who end up in young offenders institutions, end up in prison, you find that actually a majority of them uh, have speech and language difficulties. So. You know, it doesn't take much to realise that this is you know, a really big issue. Mm -hmm. The great thing about the appeal is it's not just about raising money, but I mean, it does give you um, uh, a soapbox uh, for, for, for a few minutes to put your hand up and say, look, this is, this is a problem you really ought to be thinking about. Uh, and that's almost as valuable as the actual uh, money that, that it might raise. It's another way of putting this on the agenda. And radio, the Radio 4 audience is um, uh, is a very, very special audience. You know, I mean, you, you, these are uh, you know all that's best about Middle England in, in a sense. You know what I mean? They're they're, they're intelligent, thinking people, um, uh, and they're uh, the backbone of, uh, of of the whole community. And being able to have access to them, uh, have a just a, just a few moments <laughs> for a, a word in their ear uh, is um, is you know a wonderful opportunity for ICANN and a tribute to ICANN.